The following is a production of the Computer Information Systems Department at the Metropolitan State University of Denver. Hello and welcome. Today we'll go over some basic functions in Python. The first thing I'd like to mention is, for the purpose of these videos, we will assume that we can use the terms method, function, and module interchangeably. The example code for today should be available in our online classroom. The code is called just print example function. If you are not a student of mine, this code is extremely simple and I invite you to type it into your development environment and follow along. To start, let's nail down what a function is. One definition that I've heard and that I like is that a function is a little like a computer program within your computer code. You can run the computer program by calling it. To run all of the code in the function, we only have to call one line of code. Functions have two required parts, the header and the body. If you create a header in Python, but you don't define a body, the program will typically throw an error. The header defines the name of the function. Not all functions accept parameters, but if the function does accept parameters, you will define and name them in the header. We'll explore parameters in a minute. The body of the function defines what will happen when the function is called. Let's look at some basic functions in our integrated development environment. Let's look at a simple function, just print hello world. The header tells us the name of the function and the empty parentheses tells us that the function accepts no parameters. The first line of the body simply prints one line of white space which makes my output easier to read. The next three lines do the work. They print out three lines of text. Let's run the code and see what happens. When we run the code, we see the output in our output window. This is exactly what we expect to see happen. Just for fun, let's look at another function. The function just print hello world one line is extremely similar to the function just print hello world. The only difference is in this function, I include the notation comma and then end equal and then empty quotation marks. This has the effect of telling Python, don't insert a line break here. Since there is no end of line made for line nine, line 10 will start to print where line nine left off. Let's run this and see what happens. As you can see, just print hello world one line outputs the same verbiage as the just print hello world function, but all of the output occurs on a single line. There are two lines in this display because my display runs out of space. Let's consider another function. The first thing we notice about the just print something function is that the parentheses of the function header are not empty. Rather, we see a parameter parameter to print. This parameter is effectively a variable that is only visible within the body of the function. Once the function is done running, the variable effectively disappears. If we look at line 25, we can see that when the function is called, a value is included within the parentheses of the function call. In this example, we hard-coded the value test123. When the code runs, the function just print something will be called and will send the value test123 as a parameter. Control will jump to line 13 and the value test123 will be assigned to the parameter parameter to print. Line 14 will print a line of white space and lines 15 and 16 will print simple output. At line 17, our print statement will concatenate the text here is the value that was sent to the parameter and the value of the parameter. When I run the code, the outcome looks like this. Let's take the example a step further. On line 28, I create a variable called test var string and I assign it the value test xyz. On line 31, I call my just print something function and this time I pass the variable test var string as a parameter. 
Let's run the code and see what happens. As you can see, the value of the variable test var string was passed to the parameter parameter to print, which was then processed by the just print something function. Let's look at one more example. At line 33, I create a variable called var from user, and I use the input function to get input from the user. At line 35, I call the just print something function and send it the value of the variable var from user. When I run the code, I see that the code will ask me for some input. And then the function just print something will output whatever I input. That's it for now. In our next video, we will explore return values in variable scope. For now, thanks for watching. Have a great day.